Three teens are accused of throwing rocks at cars from an overpass in Fairview. Those drivers are left with thousands of dollars in repairs. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Brittany Fulgers. Now, these senseless acts happened early in the morning as unsuspecting drivers were heading to work. One of the teens charged in the case appeared in court just hours ago. Mike Benner was there and joins us from outside the Justice Center. So, Mike, the judge had some strong words for the suspect because, I mean, this could have been so much worse. Yeah, that's right, Brittany. The judge told the 19-year-old suspect that he had seen cases like this where people die and the teen should be lucky that did not happen. He went on to encourage the teen to shape up or he will find himself on the other side of the law yet again. From what I could see sitting in the gallery in the courtroom, the teen understood the severity of what was going on. At least victims sure hope that's the case. Robert Carlson was driving along Northeast Fairview Avenue near Sandy Boulevard Monday morning when something caught his eye. People standing on the railroad bridge he was approaching. All of a sudden, my, the cab of my truck smashed in and my window shattered. And I, I knew I'd been hit. Um, my first reaction was I was just angry. Angry because his 2002 Chevy Silverado, in mint condition, mind you, had been damaged by a cinder block hurled from above. Having a work ethic, it really did irritate me um, that someone could be so careless and unconsiderate about others. And he was like, bang, 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 bang. Larry James was also driving in the Fairview area around 4 a.m. Monday when someone vandalized his truck with not one, but nearly a dozen rocks. I have no idea what would motivate people to do that kind of damage to other people. It's, it's just terrible. So far we know of eight victims, uh, eight separate vehicles that were damaged. Multnomah County Sheriff's Deputy John Plock says deputies did manage to track down and arrest three teenagers. In fact, one of them, 19-year-old Philip Andreushin, was in court Tuesday and pleaded not guilty. He and the other two teens, who are under 18, are accused of throwing baseball to softball-sized rocks and cinder blocks at vehicles traveling along Northeast Fairview Avenue and I-84. Cars going, you know, on I-84, you know, freeway speeds, it could have been deadly. So we're, we're just really happy that it didn't end that way. Robert Carlson is happy about that too, but he's also bummed that in all likelihood, his 21-year-old pickup truck will be a total loss. You know, I'm just sitting here going, really? You know, so that's kind of a bummer. You can't help but feel for Robert uh, Carlson and all the other victims, eight that detectives know of, but they fear there could be additional people who have yet to come forward. If you are one of those people, you're urged to pick up the phone and call the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office. Brittany.